Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more to Sky 3 Absence of Detention. In the last episode, we took down Classroom Ball and got to see the completion reward. That being said, I believe there are only two things left to do in this video, or er, in this <laughs> Let's Play. The first of which is showing off the Land of Carnage Pirates. There are two of these guys, the uh, Ten Gentlemen Pirates and the Ball Pirates. Now, you may be wondering, Hey, Surreal Canine, I bought the uh, Double Jump Strategy Guide a while back, or I've been looking at all the Game Facts guides. Don't, can't you fight the... Uh, can't you fight the Prison Pirates and the Mask Pirates in the item world? To which my answer to that is, No, you can't. That is an urban legend perpetrated by some beta data for the uh, given to the double jump guys when they were playing the game, I guess. It does not reflect the content of the released version. You can only fight the prison pirate and the mask pirates in the item or while reverse pirating. They do not show up in the land of Par carnage. The land of carnage and you cannot steal their ship. So, in this video, I'll be focused on taking down the Diaz Gentleman Pirates and also taking down the Ball Pirates. We'll see how well that goes when the footage begins. BEGIN THE FOOTAGE! So, here we are in an encounter with the Ten Gentlemen Pirates. Uh, you can see I have my hero printing out to lure them in. This is, in, this is my recommended tactic whenever you are fighting in the land of carnage, is looking for pirates. And here we have our Ten Gentlemen. As you can see, all ten of them are accounted for, even Salatore. And they all have pretty high stats, but uh... Surprisingly average for Land of Carnage item world enemies. Here I go. So what I end up doing here is uh, I end up, since we're kind of at a gap-wise disadvantage, I end up throwing some units over. On my way. And yeah, this is recorded post-commentary. So what? <laughs> you can see I uh, try to throw them all the way from the base panel to capitalize on their move, just because I'm not sure how well they're, they'll uh, survive if the gentlemen are given a chance to attack. we were on a map where their ship was connected to the mainland, I probably wouldn't have to worry so much just on the merit that uh, I would be able to run there with my uh, units and their awesome move ability. So yeah, I throw uh, Adele and Rutile over, only it turns out that I miscalculated because uh, nobody can throw that far. So I end up throwing Adele diagonally, and then I don't have any room for Rutile. Which means that Adele is going this round solo. Try to figure out how much damage I could possibly do with the Big Bang. I also brought along a lot of these attack traps that I duplicated a few episodes ago. <laughs> Those are always useful. Yeah, ironically, I never got around to uh, making movement traps, or even speed or int traps. I guess I was just getting impatient, but you know what? I managed to do everything I set out to do with just the attack traps, so... Mission accomplished, I guess. Pretty, dude. It was kind of a redundant way of putting it, but you know what, whatever. <laughs> Ah, seems I was wrong. The hero printy does in fact have a high enough throw to be able to throw Rutil across. So, I can just uh, follow up with her own Big Bang. As soon as I uh, have her attack traps set up. And as you can see, we're very uh, nearly finished. Only four guys left. 
uh, Pretty Mask in particular and Beyond X are looking uh, pretty unhealthy there. <laughs> and some of my units got smashed, but that's fine. I end up actually leaving the item world after this anyway, just because, uh... Well... I don't know if there's a uh, trophy for beating these guys, but I do not particularly care about trophies. <laughs> I care about content. So yeah, I end up uh, just ending turn here. And Adele... It seems like he got taken out, leaving uh, just Rutil to deal with Pauline and Salvatore, but it turns out she's more than capable of the task. And there we go, that's the DS Gentleman Pirates taken care of. Alright, let's skip forward a few more uh, runs later, I guess. Yeah, yeah, here we see that I forgot to bring a Mr. Gensi exit, so... I end up having to quit, but you know what, whatever. I got record on video and that's what counts. And here we are with the ball pirates. As you can see, there are six of them, plus this heretic that's here for whatever reason, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he's out there looking for Elijah, I don't know. In any case, uh, since they are so close to the action, I actually get incredibly lucky. I don't know if I could uh, duplicate this with any other setup. Turns out, Rutile is the queen of the battlefield here just because there are so many uh, units all grouped together. Her circle of friends ability boosts her stats pretty close to the hard cap actually. Which is pretty incredible really. So I end up uh, deliberating for a bit on what exactly I should be doing, and uh, I don't really figure out to use Rutile properly until... Well, okay, maybe that's not true. Yeah, actually, that's true. Past me! What are you doing stacking them up? You should be lining them up. Circle of friends! Do it, do it, do it! Social link, go! Here I go. What? I I do not comprehend past me. What was I doing? I remember the strategy I used, but there we go. Here we go. <laughs> yes, Here we go. as you can see, I uh, I kind of form a chain between my cheerleaders and my enemies, and between the cheerleaders' abilities and uh, Rutile's ability, I end up uh, boosting her stats pretty crazy-like. Yeah, as you can see, her attack and speed are, have both hit the hard cap. Which is one less than a hundred million. Whereas Adele kind of, uh, only his attack is that high. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have very high chances of hitting Ball, but I'm going to take them out anyway. I'm going to take out like three of them at once. So now that I've done that, I can just uh, throw some of my guys back into the base panel to, especially Rutile, since my entire strategy at this point is uh, reliant on her. So what I end up doing is I end up sacrificing uh, Saitama here so he can throw Rutil back into the base panel. Leave it to me. Again, monster units, very handy. <laughs> One last barrel cameo before we go. And then I try to figure it out, figure out if I can save Adele too. And it's probably possible in some respect. Just got to be smart about it. Chain tossing, good times. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. 
Except it appears I miscalculated! <laughs> Prinny just throws way too far for that to be a thing. So yeah, Adele ends up dying. Sorry Adele, you are not the hero of this story anymore. Obviously that draws in all of the other uber units from the other side of the map. Which uh, makes setting up the uh, cheerleader thing a bit easier than it should have been at this point. But hey, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Line up the cheerleaders again, as many of them as I can bring out. And boom! Only one guy left. And he is a guy. <laughs> as you can see, the honor quotient was kind of uh, bothering me a little bit, but this is when we... Uh, I forget what I was doing here. Oh, I guess I'm just throwing Rutile back into the base again. So yeah, that was gonna end badly no matter what we did. <laughs> but hey, we only have one guy left to take out, and he is a piece of cake to take out, because we can get behind him. Good times. So let's line up the chain of uh, friendships here. And then we just punch away. Punch, punch, a punch. Punch it a punch. We only have a 51% chance of hitting him, because I am not actually behind him, it turns out. <laughs> but whatever. I get lucky, I hit him, and we are good to go. So, the next uh, bunch of episodes are going to be demos of all of the different characters and classes we have unlocked over the course of the game. Gonna be show I'm going to be demonstrating their abilities as best I can, along with any unique skills they have on them. And that will probably take up the last two or three episodes of the Let's Play. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.